Greetings, adventurers, and welcome back to my Skyrim modding journey. Uh, today we are going to start out, as we often do, with looking at some mods I installed off-camera real quick, um, getting better about doing it a little more concisely. And if we have time after that, we might install uh, this true Thane, which gives you a bunch of like cool things to do in town when you're Thane, like have guards follow you or collect taxes or stuff like that. And then finally, I think Proteus, because I was looking at how I had no idea the Thane weapons were randomly generated. And uh, I was looking at the other Thane overhauls, none of them just felt quite right for my uh, setup. So I decided I would just either, uh, you know, rely on the fact that it randomly makes them using, you know, the weapon stuff that I, the mods and stuff that I have installed. And if it happens to suck or something, I can use um, Proteus here to just enchant, you know, an, an appropriate weapon. Because regard, because I have no idea right now, obviously, which of my characters might be a thane or whatever, and obviously if they are where they might do it, you know, I need it to flow naturally from the story and not from a need for a specific character to have a specific thane weapon, you know. So going this route, I can just, uh, you know, see, I can roll the dice and see what I get, and if it doesn't really match up, then I can just make my own using Proteus here. But anywho, um, off camera, there's a few that aren't from this, but this is a video from Redshift uh, from pretty recent, a couple weeks ago, with bug fixes and stability stuff. You can see here, it has them all listed out and stuff. I'm not going to do the detailed description. I'll just say he did a really good job of alleviating any concern about installing any of these mods. Most of them did not have any requirements or anything. And uh, as he says over and over, most of them don't have any downsides. Or, or risks. Um, but obviously, still do your due diligence. That's not, this is not an excuse to just install them all without without reading <laughs> the descriptions and stuff. So, customized weapon speed. This is not from the video. Um, I had the whole faster swing great swords and it just felt too unbalanced with everything else. I found this. We've got customized weapon speed here. That's probably the easiest way to see it. It shows you the weapon speeds of all of the weapon types. Uh, Skyrim priority SEAE. This just does some CPU stuff and uh, like managing background processes. Racial body morphs, Redux, and Manaz. It's a patch for those. Uh, racial body morphs is the one that changes the height of the races, and Manaz is an Ision's race stat overhaul. It changes their like racial abilities and their resistances and stuff. Light and Skyrim. Uh, this deletes items that you won't like notice to improve performance. Skyrim landscape and water fixes. That's pretty obvious. SSC display tweaks, stuff to do with a better modern experience with using like borderless full screen and stuff. Um, yeah, because I had an issue trying to do that before, so maybe that fixes that, but I haven't messed with it yet. Vanilla script micro optimizations. Uh, I don't, you can read the description, I don't know what that does. <laughs> uh, script, my favorite acronym, obviously. Another script thing. <laughs> Vanilla scripting enhancements, another script thing. I'm glad I'm able to offer such nuanced commentary. Uh, RAS, uh, this was a alternative to like wet and cold recommended. Uh, it adds effects for ash and, uh, cold and rain and stuff. It even has camera effects for like water on the lens. If you like that kind of thing, uh, that's not usually my thing. It is just said to be like more compatible and maybe lower. I don't remember exactly, but it, it was just what he recommended as a alternative to wet and cold. Simpler knock recommended as an opportunity, uh, Alternative to simply knock. It just adds this whole knocking interface thing. Oh, and right, there was a uh, another file. All oh, right, there's a patch for JK Skyrim's all in one so that it works with all the, the cities. Uh, enhanced blood textures. Uh, he recommended just doing the light one so there's no like arterial blood spurts off of bodies, but there is just better looking blood textures on the ground. Uh, this one I found on my own. This is, uh, and I think that's it for that video from the mods I got from there. But this is smooth combat, non-combat animations. Uh, as you can see from this picture here, it's like when you have your weapons drawn, but you're not in combat. It gives you these more relaxed animations uh, to choose from. I already went through it and did the installer and everything, and it really lets you customize it as much as you want. And yeah, I will show you some of those in game. Uh, I just had the issue of, even though I already have a thing that gets rid of the compass, it didn't get rid of the shout meter <laughs> when I used shouts. So this now gets rid of that also. Yippee. Uh, this is, I forgot about this. This is a spell someone made for me a couple years ago uh, when I requested it on Reddit. All right. Well, yeah, let's uh, have me show the things in game first before I decide if I'm going to get those mods done. So you can see here from where I already saved earlier, this is the uh, 
relaxed animation for having a two-handed sword. I can still go into block. And if I uh, go into combat, let's find a guard. Uh, then now I'm in the uh, my combat animation from Vero Levi. I give up. And there's relaxed running animations. I to- chose to keep it mostly consistent. But if you wanted to, you could have a different relaxed non-combat moving animation than compared to when you're standing. I'm battle axe. So yeah, all the two handeds I just did like that. Sword and shield, this is the relax now. And it's nice because you can still at least even out of combat, you can go into block and you have a, a combat stance. All right, I got rid of my other dagger. <laughs> yeah, it's the same thing. Yeah, and so really, uh, my plan is when I have characters with two-handed weapons, I'm not going to have the weapon sheath. I'm just going to hold it like this. Swords are the exception, obviously, especially since I can have that on the hip in a sheath. But yeah, if I could, I wish I could even go as far as giving like, you know, the guards They'd still want to have swords, because swords are sidearms, but they should also have spears, or halberds, or something like that, bill hooks. I know about animated armory, I still, it's just on the long list of things that I haven't gotten to yet, as far as looking at. What else have I been? Oh, the conceal spell, and the shout meter. Got the uh, conceal spell here, invisible while I'm not moving, but when I move, I pop out. It's not immediate immediate, so once you're invisible, you eh, sometimes it doesn't, so it's, it's risky, but... Yeah, you can kind of move forward a tiny bit, but it's inconsistent. Huh? But yeah, I like that. And like I said, I, I will treat it as an adept spell for it so it's balanced. And I plan on using mods to make it so that no matter how high your uh, sneak is, you can't just stand in front of somebody <laughs> in the in, in a lit area. Um, and then, yep, I have the compass off and shout. No shout thing, obviously. Now I do have the shout thing down from iHUD and that's how it's supposed to be. So yeah, everything's really coming together. Did I have anything else I was supposed to show off? Oh, the rain thing. Let's see if we can get it raining. Oh, it's sun stuff, so it might start snowing here even. Look at how short that guy is. How adorable. Oh, I've got some snow effect. Like it's, oh, it is snowing, which is very light. Yeah, so you can see the droplets effect on the lens. Is that the subtle? It is, this is the subtle water droplets. Uh, when you move, it's still pretty noticeable. I just don't think I have a mod that specifically gets rid of lens effects. And I don't... Yeah, it's generally not my thing. But the stuff on my character is cool. Little snow build up and stuff. Uh, it really is a really light snow, too. You can only see it against, like, certain things. I like that. But anywho. Yeah, I think I'm going to turn that off. And yeah, I'll be able to just... If anything else seems off-putting, I will turn that off as I go, too. Besides, I might not have even known it was snowing without the effect showing up. It's so light. Looks so good. I might have already changed them, huh? <laughs> I guess I'll... Can I fill in vanilla them? Oh, no, that doesn't work. Well, I don't even know exactly what they were, so I can't really be bothered putting them back, but I'll just show them off. So here we've got light attacks with the two-handed sword. Uh, I'll go to my spot over here. Yeah, quite a bit faster. And why? I mean, these are all the same, so... It's almost like... Am I crazy? It almost looks like the axe is actually, like, a little faster, even though it's set the same. Uh, I think it's just certain animations. Oh, I love the random attacks so much. So good. And then one-handed sword. Yeah, if anything, I mean, the whole point is it almost looks like they're about the same speed, which it should be. And two-handed weapons should have some advantage and reach, but obviously having a shield uh, has been shown to help a lot if you watch videos from, like, Lindy Beige and Shadowversity. Then I was thinking I even need to turn up the dagger a little. It just sucks I don't have any, like, thrusting animations. I mean, there are ones with sneaking, but... <laughs> Yeah, nothing. Maybe stab, stable, stabilizer. I bet animated armory has some, doesn't it? There's some power attacks. Uh, this uh, this uh, weapon speed thing already has stuff for rapier and pike and stuff. Well, I hope this is modular to some extent. Let's find out, shall we? Animated armory installed. Oh no, conflicts, huh? I just want fixes. Right. And this true thane thing also did not have any requirements or anything, so might as well. That I don't have already. So might as well go ahead and install it. And true thane is installed. Now we, you know, added animated armory, the dar version. So I'm pretty sure we don't need to run Nemesis or anything. But I'm going to do it anyways. Easy peasy. Oh, this is actually better since I didn't install that enchantments thing. There's not a giant list of, uh... Oh, there's bound halberds and stuff. Ooh, that's fun. <laughs> Yeah, let's get us a Iron Halberd. 2016, 7. Ooh, that's a big one. It doesn't look too like that. I'm not sure if that's vanilla or not, but that axe head's not too, too big. Man, and this is the kind of thing, like, this is long enough that I sure wish I could hold it, like, straight up and down, but I've not seen anything for that. 
oh, I wonder what it would be like without the animation thing that I installed, because this is doing that. Let's just take a look, see. Not that I can go without that, because I like it a lot for the other ones. Turn off our non-combat animations, which were also Dar, not Nemesis, so I'm not going <laughs> to rerun it every time while I'm experimenting. But I will do it at the end. <laughs> it's got its own idols. And I can't say that's because it's still not relaxed, and I imagine it is going to enter this when I uh, enter battle. Yeah, and obviously, as far as that smooth non-combat animations thing is concerned, this is considered an axe or something. <laughs> yeah, we'll have to see. I mean, I, I I love how big they are for pole arms, and they sure add. But it's like it's it's literally going to be more distracting for me that people are going to have these, and they're either going to have them on their back, and they're so huge, or are going to be holding them like this, or for it not to be distracting, it would have to be really on your your shoulder. Don't get me wrong. And I love uh, see with the random thing. I bet it adds in. Not that there's anything wrong with occasional swinging of like a giant spear like this, but it should definitely be more thrusting. Oh yeah, let's take because uh, it added dagger animations. No, I completely replaced them for some reason. Weird. What if I have? Because I don't have another dagger. Uh, yeah, I can't say I love that. This is literally just switching. Actually, with the way it's doing it, it's, it's switching. Literally doing it three. I don't know. I did only two that time. But generally, it seems to mostly be doing three of each. It's a cool idea, but it's like it. It would need to be like fully. I mean, just being able to like hold spears like spears would be uh, when you're out of combat and not have them on your back. It'll just be too distracting otherwise. For me, I'm not saying it's you know, a bad mod, obviously, or anything. It's a great mod. In fact, I really like... Like, that looks really good. <laughs> oh, come on, tell me there's some stabbing. There we go. Okay. So there are still some stabbing animations. Because, for example, I could turn off my non-combat animations when I'm, like, using this if I want to. And just, you know, walk around with it like this. Ha! Ah! <laughs> you know, I think, I'll do, I think I'll just turn it off for now. And, uh... We'll see about it another time, potentially. Or maybe I'll just, you know, do that thing where I just, I bring it in for certain parts of my, my videos. Thank you guys very much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe. And I will see you next time.